Hi YouTube, you back at it. A little bit more content. In this video, we're gonna be tackling a drop fade with a with a look with a sponge look on the top. Okay, we're gonna start off with, uh, with some trembles. Uh I would recommend uh any any kind of trembles as long as they get pretty close. You don't, you don't want them too close where they, they nick you, but you want them pretty close where the area that you clean it up, you want you want that area to be pretty clean. Now, I like the slimline probes. Um, it's just me. Uh, I feel like I can pretty much, like they like a pencil to me. I can almost draw with them. Okay, but just make sure the area real clean. And after you after you got that accomplished, I use, uh, you already know I use uh, magic clips. I like those clippers. And I'm going to start off with the lever all the way open. I'm going to start off with it all the way open with this. I'm going to go from one side all the way around. I'm gonna make sure this area true. When I first put my guide in, once I put any guide in, I make sure that area true, whatever length that be. And I'm gonna go from my, my level all the way open and I'm gonna pick up my 116. This is my 116 right here. I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna make sure that level close with my 116 all the way around from one side to the other. Now at the when I leave my 116, I'm gonna skip my 18 and go all the way up to a one and a half. And I go all the way up to a one and a half because I don't I don't have to worry about going any any higher than that one and a half. I know I can play below with my 18. And those are three those are three guards that I'll be using throughout this whole haircut. Now I'm not gonna tell you when to open your level or when to close it. I mean, you just, if you just watch videos or, or just, you know what I'm saying, just put your, put your study, put your study cap on and just, just go through it and you'll pretty much get a fully understanding of what barbers be going through or what they see by when you just watching it. Now with those, with, with those three, with those three guards, I'm gonna go all the way around with the same process. And I put my guide in with those three guards. And after I put my guide in, I connect everything with this comb. They call it a clip over comb method. And that's pretty that's pretty much it, man. I, I start from one side all the way around. I pick the comb up and I pull the hair out, you know, just connecting everything that I put in. And once, once all that's done, you know, I clean up that bottom line, you know, with my lever halfway, halfway open or halfway closed, however you want to put it. And I close it all the way to clean up my bottom line. And I open it all the way at the end to fade everything in. And once you got everything, once you got everything connected together, your transition will be smooth. So with those three, with those, well, I, with the comb included, with the comb included, we're going to say there's four. Cause that comb is really is really important to me. It pretty much changed my whole barber, my whole barber just career off top just with a comb by itself. Comb really is real important. So if I advise you to not only just play with clippers, play with every tool that you got on your station from a comb to a blow dryer. Man, barbering is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. It, it's not just about clippers. Anybody can cut. You know, cut a, a fade or a edge or, or do you know all of the above? But when you just dig deep into it, man, it's it, it's it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, beautiful! And you want sometimes you want to step out your comfort zone, step out your comfort zone. So I'm gonna just complete. I'm gonna just do the same steps all the way around. And when I start edging, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go holler back at you and let you know how I feel on how I tackle edges and how I tackle enhancements and you know, uh, all of the above. So let's sit back, man. I appreciate you for just rocking with me 17 minutes long. And I promise I'm gonna try to help you out any way I can with this, with the content I'm giving you. Just, man, just stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned.
transition coming through, coming through smooth. You can see it's uh pretty much pretty much already done. You want to go back, make sure everything uh pretty much smooth in each area. You know, so you want to try to spot cut, get your comb, you know, pick up dark areas, light areas, fade it out. Use different techniques to try to get the the, you know the look that you want <clears throat> so you'll see me brush I mean you'll see me comb uh, br uh, pick down comb pick up the comb try to comb it back out cut whatever I gotta do to make sure that area you know that transition smooth hey right, now so edging uh man edging let me see edging kind of different I think everybody you know everybody look at edging different I mean, some folks start from the middle, some folks start from the right, some folks start from the left. Me personally, I start from the right. I used to start from the middle. I don't know why. Uh, I just feel I feel I get the I get the best results when I start from the right and all the way over to the and I go all the way over to the left because I can just like write my name. I don't know why I do it. I just you know I do it like that. But I start and I make sure each side is pretty much. The same length, make sure uh, both boxes are, you know, pretty squared up. I don't try to dig off in the, uh, the receiving, the receiving areas. Try to try to make those straight across. And if you stay like that, man, you pretty much, you pretty much will be alright. As long as you ain't beating nobody up, and you know, with the edge up, you, you know, they pretty much you, you would be straight. Me, I try to stay as natural as possible. As natural as possible. It's just easier said than done because some, some people have got some rough edges. Trust me when I tell you, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some challenges out there when it comes to edges. But if you stay with it, you, you know, keep your clippers in your hand. Try to, you know, do some with some clippers daily. I'm pretty sure you'll be alright. So you want to try to make sure your edge in pretty solid before your enhancements get used. Uh, You'll probably see me go back and forward over with the edge just to make sure it's in the solid. So when the hands may wipe out or whenever, you know, they do try, he still got a, you know, pretty, pretty solid edge up. And I'll go in with my, uh, with my, uh, hair fibers. And I would recommend any hair that I use, all of them. They all do the same to me. So I'm, I'm not real big on brand. Uh, in this particular, I use Topic. And after I use the top it, I use the I use the hair fibers to hold the uh, the you know like the 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 hair color. What you call it? I don't even know what color what it, what, it, what color I'm even using. I just buy it from uh, from Sally's and I mix it up with some alcohol and I put it in there. Maybe you gotta understand. I'm so basic when it comes to cutting hair. Up. Whatever I see, I don't have to go, you know what I'm saying, go, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, man, to get this stuff done. I'm just talking about all, majority of the basic stuff, man, you can buy from the dollar store. I'm just, I'm just, I'm old school. So all this stuff right here, this, this new, this new to me. I just know how it's supposed to look. That's it. Now, how you, what do you say? Well, big, when you get, man, I don't mean, look, they go to that dollar store right, right up the road around that corner and go back there on the, on the little, uh, the little, the the beauty the beauty supply side and man just go go ahead and see what you can use and you you'll be amazed the stuff you'll pull up out of there. I don't, I'm not real big on spending a lot of money on tools because they don't get the job done. You be you and if you really wanna you really wanna change the game you go to that you go to that dollar store and buy your pair of ten dollar clippers. Buy your pair of ten dollar clippers and they gonna be rough trying to trying to get a complete a cut. But that's when your that's when your magic on. That's when you got you gonna work. That's when you gonna work. And right here, see, these this is behind the scene. Actually, I'm at work. I'm at I'm at you know these. This is an hour. I think this like, uh, this is a cut before my lunch break. I said well, I'm gonna just shoot this little video right quick. You know, since I got a little time, so I missed my lunch break just to, just to take this. But this this cut actually, you know, you can probably complete this cut probably uh. Like, 20, I, I get 20, 20, 25 minutes tops. 
you know, because to me it's simple. It's simple. You're going with the same stuff all the way around, doing the same thing. And I go through this and I sponge it. And he said, well, when do you charge? Now, I don't charge for sponging it. I don't charge for the products I use. I don't charge for the enhancement. I'm going to give you a, a, a solid price sooner you soon as I get started. And everything going to be included with it. So, I mean, you don't have to have the enhancements. I mean, this price still going to be the same. So, yeah, why not? Why not? I just love the way it look. And I feel like that's my work going out there. So, and I want the client to, you know, I want him, I want him to look the best. And not only look, I want him to feel like a million, million bucks soon as he get out the chair. So, whatever I got to do to accomplish that, but then when I'm going to do it. So I go through with the, uh, even with the, uh, what you, you see me use the little pencil. Some folks call it a barber pencil. Hell, I go to that dollar store and I use an eyebrow pencil. You see what I'm saying? Simple. Simple. You ain't got to be no rocket science to get this stuff done. And I was an artist first, so I think it's, it probably come a little natural to me, to the way that it's supposed to look. But I'm pretty sure, man, but with practice, man, you, you, you can build the same eye. You can build the same eye. It all comes with trial and error. And with edging, you can see me going back and forth just to make sure my edge and straighten up. Each time, you're not going to get a perfect edge. It's real, real hard to get a perfect edge. I've been cutting hair almost 20 years, and I've never seen the, a perfect edge. All you can do is, is the best that you can do with whatever you got. Everybody head different so as long as you're not you know pushing edge up the back or uh, making one side higher than the other or not completing a haircut man you're gonna be all right you're gonna be all right so and at the end after all that said and done you want to try to lock everything in with that razor Razor man, that razor do it do some it do some to a haircut. I don't know what it do, but I just I'm not real big on edges or trimmers because that razor is is man it's like uh, it's it's the bread one and they get they get the, the bills paid they keep the lights on without this razor man I don't know where I'd be the real tough. So everything come together this uh look drop fade i so appreciate y'all for hanging out with me 17 minutes hope y'all learned some with these with them guards man just try to pick up guards and just you know use them uh start them start off with all the way open then you go halfway then close all the way open halfway close and after you know how to or learn how to pick up your guards and use your guards and then you move to your cone home gonna pretty much set everything in so i appreciate y'all for you know hanging out with me until next time my friends god bless you